how does stress change our perception and the ability to perceive ourselves and the world around us in a healthy state of mind? So, a stressor is essentially defined as anything that is adding stress to your body. This might be a really tough Peloton class or a long run that leaves you out of breath and adds physical stress to your body. It might be a mental stressor in the form of an intrusive thought that has you worried about your upcoming presentation or a client meeting or the countless other stressors that we face on a regular basis in sales. Rejection, losing a deal, buyers ghosting. And the thing about stressors is the actual event occurring rarely matters. What matters most is the lens in which we're perceiving it at an individual level that's going to impact our overall stress response. So to use an example, let's use losing a deal. I'm sure we've all had this happen at some point during our career. We've worked six months with a client, we think it's just about to close, and that point of contact gets let go during a restructure. So when we, when we encounter an event or a stressor like this, what happens is our brain is automatically gonna go through what's called a primary appraisal phase. And it's going to quickly, like that, and automatically and unconsciously determine, is this thing that just happened, is it positive, is it irrelevant or neutral, or is it negative? And then when something gets perceived as negative, our brain is gonna go through a secondary appraisal phase. And then assess this situation and assign how much harm was being done by this deal falling through in the moment, how big a threat is this thing to causing more harm in the future? So think about having a difficult conversation with your manager or potentially taking less money home on your commission check. And then three, how challenging is this thing going to be to overcome? How much adversity is it going to be to refill this in my pipeline? Now the problem is, and the difficulties that we face is when we're operating in distress, when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we're operating in that third section of the stress curve, what studies and research have shown is two primary things start to happen. One, we automatically start to perceive more negative experiences taking place. And two, we automatically assign more harm, more threat, and more challenge to these events. So then you'll probably feel this intuitively if you've experienced this, where you get stuck in this pattern of thinking, where you feel stressed, you start to see more things as negative, you start to see them as harder to overcome, so you feel more stressed, so you see more negatives, they feel even harder to overcome, and very, very quickly, your perspective of the world and yourself is narrowing. 